I feel that in the oboe quartet, I came closer to what I would like to be doing. And for me, it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't come so easily to do that. I can't do it all the time. I'd like to. Uh, I mean, ultimately, that's, uh, you know, not only is it humane, because, you know, you're putting labor into the hands of performers. And you don't want to give them trash. You don't want to give them bupkis. You don't want to give them just uh, uh, a, a, a cog in a wheel. You want to give them the, the substance of satisfaction to, to do something they love and something they can really passionately get involved in. And that, you know, figuring out all those strands and how that can work is very, very troubling. Uh, or I say troubling, it's, uh, it takes a lot of trouble to do that if you're lucky. And of course, if you only concern yourself with that, you can come up with a very pedantic outcome also. So, no, I don't feel that about, but I do feel that about a lot of Strauss, for example. People play in a Straussian orchestra, they've got a lot to do, and they're a lot of them doubled, and they're maybe just elaborating on me. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't think that that's what anybody who plays Mahler feels. Mm -hmm. No, but the thing that I heard read recently about Brahms, someone said that his fourth symphony could be a piano quintet. Well, I think that Brahms, but it's true. I mean, first of all, we're taking it from the other end, we have the F minor piano quintet. Began two piano, and I just I coached that last uh, semester, and then and, and where are you coaching these things? Well, I'm teaching at Harvard this year. Really? Yeah, Bob. I, whenever Bob Levin leaves his uh, takes a sabbatical or something like that, I get class the music 180, which is the high level of chamber music course, which originally had Yo Yo Ma, James Puzzle, and uh, with a couple of uh, amateurs, uh, and. The, the quality of the students is still the same. It's just wonderful. Mm. So it's a great pleasure for me to do that. Um, anyway, I pushed that late. And then it went through another transformation of an all string group. And finally, I think Clara suggested to him that it should be, he combined piano with strings. But it gives the idea that Brahms really probably worked first through the piano medium. Do you write at the piano? Yes, I do. You do. So you, yes. you actually are hearing this orally the oboe quartet, and you're imagining the timbres in here. I'm imagining the timbres, and I, there's, it's, there's a compromise that's going on. I have play everything locally and work out everything locally, but the conceptual things of how that yes, feels and, and trying to go ahead with what will, what, what should, what comes when is done away from the piano. And so there's a constant uh, imaginative effort, which is uh, dreamlike and imaginative, and the mental tryouts and then the physical tryouts. And, uh, it's, uh, it's a constant block back and forth. Did you revise the piece after the first performance? Um, yes, but not in a major way. And as I remember, I did not revise anything about the form, about the succession of events. It was details. Mm -hmm. Strengthening some doublings here and there. But basically the piece was there. And I loved it when uh, we were doing the recording uh, with uh, Bela Caius and Mary Ruth and uh, uh, the cellist uh, and, Pe and Peggy. Oh, the cellist, I love her. Um, anyway, they, they kept shaking their heads and saying, this is a keeper. You know, what, what, what more does one want, want from one's colleagues and from performers mm -hmm. but commitment of that kind? Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. And then, Act, there was a problem, and the biggest problem, I think, that I had with uh, that piece was trying to figure out how to end it. It's a very interesting ending. It's a very, it's a very Quite strange, strange, provisional ending, and it ends very much, it evaporates in a, on a kind of upbeat without really concluding anything. And uh, that's not satisfied everybody. But I think I've reached a point where I have nothing more to say. And 